Hi boys and girls, we're gonna learn something new today in foundations, a cool trick, and a way for us to figure out when do we use the letter C to spell words and when do we use the letter K to spell words. And that's because, let's think about it, what makes the K sound? We've learned about it since the beginning of the year. What letters make the K sound? You're right. The letter C makes the K sound. C, cat, K. But also the letter K makes the K sound. K, kite, K. So we've been learning this since the beginning of the year, but it's kind of confusing to know when do we use the letter C and when do we use the letter K to spell words if they both make that K sound. So, Today we're going to learn about the special tricks and the special rules for you to remember to help you know when to use the letter C and when to use the letter K at the beginning of words. So, when you are using the letter C, C sounds like K, you use the letter C if the vowels after the letter C are A, O or U. So if you're spelling a word and the vowel in the word is an A, if the vowel in the word is an O, if the vowel in the word is a U, and it starts with the K sound, you know to use the letter C. Now, the other letter that makes the K sound is the letter K. Now, we can know to use the letter K to spell a word if in the word the vowel is an E or if in the word the vowel is an I, okay? If the word has an E or an I vowel sound and it starts with the sound K, you know to start it with the letter K. Now, I know that can be tricky and hard to remember, but you just really need to keep practicing it and remembering it. I have this poster here called the CK rule. K takes the I and the E. So if you have an I or an E, you're using the letter K to spell that K sound. If your word has an A, an O, or a U, you're using the letter C to make the K sound. That's what we call the CK rule. So let's practice a little bit with a couple words because I think it makes more sense when we practice it with real words. So the first word is cat. Cat. Can you tap it out with me? K -a -t. Cat. Again. K -a -t. Cat. Cat. Good, so now to spell cat, let's think about it. What vowel do you hear in cat? K, a, a, a. You're right, you hear the A sound. A, t. And at the end, I hear the T. But now what about that beginning sound? I'm hearing k, k. But should I use a C or should I use a K? Think about the rule that we're learning. If the word has an A, ah, has an A in it, what letter should we start it with? The letter C, very good. So we spell cat, C-A-T. Let's practice with another one. Tap it out with me. K, A, T, cot. Again, K, A, T, cot. Okay, let's think about the vowel you hear, A. Ah. Ah, ah, what's that vowel sound? Oh, very good. Cut, t, and T at the end again. But how will we know what to use at the beginning? Because I hear the K sound. That's right. Since I have an O in my word, I start the word with the letter C. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Okay, here's another one. Tap it out. Uh, t, cut, k, uh, t, cut. Very good. What's that vowel you hear? Uh, uh. 
I hear a U, very good. That N sound is cut, t, t. How do I know what to put in the beginning? If there's a U in my word, what's the rule? The K sound is a C. Very good. Okay, let's move on to two more. Here we go. K, I, T, Kit. K, I, T, Kit. What's that vowel sound you hear in the middle? Kit, I, I, I. An I, good job. I hear an I, kit, and I hear a T at the end. Now, k, k, kit. What am I using for that k sound? A C or a K? Good, I should use a K because look, what letters in kit? What vowels in kit? That's right, an I. So the k, the k sound is a letter K. Last one. I, d, kid, k, I, d, kid. Very good. Again, what vowel do you hear in that? I, I, I. I hear an I. Kid, d, d. What sound do you hear at the end? D. But now, k, k. What do we have to use for the beginning letter? The C or the K? The K. And again, that's because the vowel in the word is an I. If you have an E or an I, the K sound is a K. If you have a word with an A, an O, or a U, the K sound at the beginning would be a C. Now again, I know this is tricky and it's really something you just have to practice and keep remembering. So make sure you watch this video over and over to keep practicing and practice some of your words at home. I'm going to post this little poster up on my teacher website as well so that you can watch the video, but then you'll also have this to look back to. But I hope you find that exciting. I hope it's pretty cool that after all these months of learning two letters that make the same sound, when do we know how to use them? And now we know. A-O-U for the letter C, and K, E and I, we use the letter K. Awesome, good job boys and girls, thank you.